Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech. So we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be installing an air scrubber by Aris. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on the same Nightmare LG Multi-V system. This one was damaged with water and today we're going to be installing the air scrubber by Aris. This thing is absolutely amazing. We're also going to be installing a transformer to step down the voltage from 208 to 24 volts as this is what it runs through. We're going to install a transformer in an enclosure and we're going to run VX with clamp connectors and all. Let's go ahead and take some of this plastic off only in this area so I can get to the control panel and then there's not really space here but i'm gonna see where i can exactly fit this air scrubber it might have to be in this area right here all right so here's the air scrubber it's actually pretty small pretty simple let's keep it here for safety as far as power you literally just plug this in here and then you're going to want to connect 24 volts to this we're going to install a transformer for that in its own box. Here's our mounting plate. We need a three and a half inch hole. So I picked up a three and a half inch hole saw just to make this nice and clean and easy. So pretty much we're going to put this on the duct, mark our hole, drill through it, put some zip screws through it, mount this on top, close the nuts. And uh, I think it's pretty much ready. Let's go ahead and mark the hole on the duct and get this started. It's honestly no perfect place to get here. It's all pretty, pretty tight. It shows on the instructions, your maximum distance wants to be 15 feet. We're about four feet away. Maybe five feet. And I'm thinking right here is just to drill it. I'm gonna have to drill this at an angle. So it might be a little tough, but it looks like this is the best spot to do it. Man, that's such a weird angle here. Right there. And make a hole right there. All right, three and a half inch hole we gotta make. Looks like this is just gonna fit. I've got this frame here. I'm just hoping I can get this to go. Gotta do this at an angle. Very awkward spacing. Here's a mounting plate. It comes with a sticky pad. So we're just gonna wanna center this, make it straight, and stick it right onto the duct. Nice and straight. From here, we're just gonna zip in eight screws. super tight spot right now can't even like properly get in here I think like this is better all right so here's the air scrubber airflow has to go across this way you want to make sure it passes through the honeycombs so it has a ga gasket built in the back and we're just gonna push this through and tighten up the four nuts keep in mind there's a little switch here. This has to be pushed in all the way. So keep in mind, if you don't see a light on this after you power it up and it's getting voltage, make sure this little thing is 
put together. So I'm gonna go up there. And let's sign it up. Seems simple enough. Just be careful. Right there. Out, wire out the way. Let's tighten up these nuts. All right, everyone, that looks pretty awesome. So, from here, we're gonna connect this wire, run it towards the control panel, and we're gonna install that transformer. Gotta figure out a good place to put it. As far as insulation, a part of this insulation was taken out due to water damage. Once we run the machine and make sure that the initial issue is solved, we're gonna put back this part of insulation. The top is still covered, but we're gonna have to cover from here and underneath and then duct seal it. On the other side of the unit, switches on the off position. Power comes in right here. Let's check between L1 and L2. You always want to confirm there's no power. Right there, zero volts AC. This plate doesn't come off and we already have this control panel mounted on it. And I know the blower, we have space. We're not gonna hit anything here. So what I'm thinking is actually putting it right here. I think that's a good spot. You can still take the bottom cover off. Everything should be fine. And then we'll run a BX into this panel. I got a universal transformer. So we can go from 120, 208, 240, or 40, excuse me, or 480, down to 24 volts. So the secondary is right here, our 24 volts. And we gotta choose between these two. So common is white. And 208 is red. That's what we have here. So we're gonna use these two for 208, these two for 24, and these, I'm gonna cut off the ends and tape them. All right, so I taped off the three ends and put a tie wrap there just to keep that separated. These are the only wires we're gonna be using. All right, let's go ahead and mount this. Looking good. We got Christian on the other end with the fish tape. And what I'm gonna do is neatly connect this to the fish tape and we're gonna pull that wire to the side. Alright Chris, pull it. Go, 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 go. Alright, I got the wire on this side. It's tight in here. I'm gonna run this into the little control panel here. All right guys, I made my connection for the low voltage on this side, and I made my connection for the high voltage. Now I just gotta run that and connect it to the power in this system. There's actually another hole right here. I'm thinking I could just run it through, but I wanna do this neat. I'm thinking of making a hole right here. I have a step bit. You know what? I'm just gonna run it in right here. Use my step drill bit. Right, guys everything's wired here i had to switch it up a little bit around the power just like that it's in there let's go ahead and check our system all right hopefully you guys can see we got a blue light on there awesome 
UV lamp in operation when lit. This is awesome. Alright guys, everything's looking good. Marsh is cover. Can't find the cover to this one. The idea here is we're gonna run the fan on fan only just for now so we can kill the contaminants. And we're gonna wrap this one up here. We connected 208 volts from our main line voltage feeding this transformer and then we stepped it down to 24 volts feeding the air scrubber. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.